Okay, so this is the first time I've recorded myself doing a, a full painting here. So might be a little rough in certain areas, but uh, I'll do my best to explain exactly what I'm doing and why. And hopefully this helps a lot of people out. Okay, so starting here, uh, this is just a regular creek in the middle of nowhere. And here's my setup. I'm using a Gorilla Painter box. And there's my palette. Okay, so colors I am using is violet gouache. Um, just give me a moment here. Uh, Japan green light, sap green, cad red hue, cad yellow hue, yellow ochre, Naples yellow, white gouache, ultramarine blue, cerulean, burnt umber, um, Van Dyke Brown and Ivory Black. Burnt Umber Watercolor, Van Dyke Brown Watercolor, and Ivory Black Watercolor. Okay, so I'm gonna start put the first brush strokes down. Right here I'm just drawing in uh, the most noticeable landmarks of where I am painting. Just now. This was the m most interesting tree bark that I saw there, so I usually start with the most interesting part of the painting first, or the part of the scening scenery that I'm painting first. Um, it usually ends up being my focal point. With paintings like these, I don't get into any detail as far as the, the drawing goes. It's very gestural in the beginning. I just refine and refine as I go. Oftentimes I don't even put a drawing down. In this case though, there's a lot going on, so it helps a little bit. Just to be able to keep my composition where I'm going with it. And right here, I'm just mixing what are going to be my first washes. I'm just covering up the canvas with some stain of a color as quickly as I can. I don't even care if I dis totally destroy the the drawing, which I won't. Um, the drawing colors I put down are usually staining the paper enough to keep it at least somewhat there. All you really need is just a ghost of the drawing anyway. You're going to cover it up by the time you're done. So it's a slightly warmer color for the ground there, which is mostly rocks, warm rocks. And the back is a lot of greenery. Putting in a darker shade here. Um, I'm laying in darker tones of um, the largest dark mass.
I usually establish the shape before I fill it in with color. Right here, I'm just restating the drawing that I destroyed a little bit with those washes. Nice thing about gouache, um, it doesn't matter if you put it, put down a shade of color that's a little bit too dark because you're just going to come back in with it with opaque lighter colors over it. It's actually probably better if you over darken it at first because you'll have um, a good contrast against the lighter color that you're going to put down later. So far it's very much like a very loose watercolor. Um, it's going to look that way for, for quite a while actually. Right here I'm mixing some thicker and darker color for this large dark mass which is going to be most of the background actually. Being somewhat careful not to cover the entire paper, leaving a little bit of the color of the uh, um, the untouched paper, because even though gouache is opaque, there's a chalkiness to the white that you just can't really. It's always going to be a little bit darker than the clean white of the paper, and. There's always just a nice look that the white of the paper showing through, even on a gouache painting, has. I'm just establishing the darker darks in this painting. Uh, I'm indicating here the shadows of the rocks on the ground. It's not totally accurate to what I'm seeing right in front of me, but it doesn't really matter. They're just little pebbles anyway. 